hello friends today we are going to look at a charger phone charger it's all type phone charger it's a Chinese charger it's brand Concord but it's not uh, like a plain Concord I think they name it like this Concord set power adapter model C710 and input voltage is 100 to 240 and also input is uh, 0.3 amps it's 60 or 50 hertz output rated is 5 volt to uh, 2000 milliampere or 2 ampere I mean it's supposed to be 10 amp let's uh, make it an measurement on this device like output power it is it's a 10 watt we can see it's capable 10 watt or not let's make it an uh, measurements on the on this device it's like this I think it's old Sony charger it's very old type or we can use it with uh, some other devices I don't know this is input and there is a two cable they made it red and black red is supposed to be positive and black is negative let's measure it yes I connect the charger to main this is main voltage and this is also our linear power supply and it's 5.33 volt and polarity is correct red one is positive and uh, I will measure it also current with this and with this resistors power resistors I will measure it if, if it's uh, capable of 2 ampere or not yes friend uh, I connect two, cr two crocodile to output of the uh, charger is here and it came from this cable also I measure the voltage with this is 5.33 33 volt and also I will measure the current with this and resistor is here it's connected it's come from here with the multimeter and connect one probe is here and if we connect it here with this yes this voltage and current is changes now we draw 1.0 blown amp 5.11 volt uh, let's calculate it yes now it's dropping a bit I think it's about connection yes Let's make it a good connection. This. Oh. Yes. You can say one amp. Now it's one amp. Yes. One amp here. And voltage is I is voltage and now yes, it's four point ninety eight. Yes. So it's about five watt. It's four point ninety eight watt. Let's load it more and let's look at the voltage and amperes. Yes, is one point eight amp and four point seventy five volt. Yes.
1.13 amp and 4.75 volt. Let's calculate it. 1. Point, say 13 multiplied by 4.3 watt. Yes, it's draw 8.6 watt. 8.6 watt. Yes, let's load it more. Let's load it more with this resistors. I will make a uh, connection and we will continue again. Yes, friends, I connect uh, three 5 ohm resistors. Let's calculate is the resistance 5 over it's, it's 1.6 uh, ohm resistor and let's load it. Now voltage is 5.32. Yes, it's drop 4.5 and ampere is 2.6. Let's write it 4.57 volt and it's 2.628 2 ampere. Let's disconnect and calculate the voltage. I think this uh, power supply is good because it's rated 2 amp and we draw it 2.6 amp. Let's uh, calculate the wattage of output 2.628 multiply by 4.58 yes it's 12 watt yes we draw 12 watt and let's uh, load it more to see if you draw more current but the voltage is not good at this rating but 4.78 it's okay but 4.58 a bit low yes I connect one more resistor one more 5 ohm resistor to branch and its resistance is 5 over 4 is 1.25 ohm and let's load it yes it's dropped to 4.25 and it's draw 3.2 amp 3.2 4.29 volt yes amp let's disconnect and let's calculate the efficiency Yes, it's 3.232 amp multiplied by 4.29 amp volt. Yes, it's 13.88 watt. Yes, this is for out. I think this is enough because the voltage is too low. Uh, Yes, friends. I think it's enough to for wattage, and uh, I think this is a good charger because they say 2,000 milliamp, 2 amp, and we draw 1.8 ampere, 4.875 uh, volt. This, this is re re reasonable voltage, and this is uh, near to 2 amp maybe if this a bit high this will be really good charger let's open this and look at what inside of it and uh, try to draw a schematic for this I will try to draw a schematic for this uh, charger yes I finally open the case and I break here and I open it yes this is a typical flyback 
why it's blurring yes this is input here line and neutral and this is a fuse is f1 this eight and there is four discrete diode for rectification and this is a input capacitor and this is tantalum capacitor and this is control IC and there is another diode and ceramic capacitor and electrical capacitor I think this is for uh, supplying chip this is, uh, this is connected with auxiliary winding of transformer this is a uh, optocoupler with feedback it's connected to the output here and this is there is Zener diode for voltage reference I think there is no any voltage reference component like 431 they use Zener diode and this is a class Y1 capacitor for safety and also this is transformer output capacitor they use just capacitor and resistor here and this is a short key diode for output rectification it's connected to the transformer winding here yes this is typical flyback let's draw schematic for this and also the isolation distance is very good here also there is some SMD component back side of board and also there uh, there is some missing components here like one capacitor it's probably ceramic and there is maybe there is some inductor yes there has to be inductor here for better rectification by but they just don't use it yes also there is an another diode and resistor and this diode this resistor and this tantalum it has to be a snubber network yes all of this let's draw a schematic for this friend hello again I draw the schematic of this little flyback yes let's start from here input this input is has a, only fuse there is no interference filter or uh, NTC it's not good sign to this they eliminate all components and there is four discrete diode is one and four thousand series diode also uh, this tank capacitor is 400 volt 6.8 microfarad and its uh, plus side is directly goes to the primary winding of transformer and here the snubber network there is two parallel resistor is here 71k and 4.7 nanofarad capacitor is here and uh, there is diode but I can't read it this this will be is a fast diode this is another network and there is two startup resistor is here 1 mega 1 mega for just starting up the chip also chip I don't I uh, didn't say for uh, any there is no any switching element appear here but inside of this chip there is an MOSFET I will show it on the data sheet and also we have auxiliary winding here for uh, supplying chip VCC is the uh, second pin and this connected to here this this capacitor here the 16 volt uh, 47 microfarad and also there's a diode here 
this diode, this for rectification of the uh, chip. When the chip is start up, the primary winding is uh, induced and the auxiliary winding also is induced for supplying chip. And also ground is connected to here. And we don't have much things on this. There is class Y1 capacitor for safety reasons. It's connected to auxiliary winding to ground of the output. And uh, also there is a short key diode. It's the R, R360 like this. And this is 10 volt 100 microfarad capacitor also the output resistor and they made with uh, I looked this Zener diode is 5.6 volt they made a, a regulation with the Zener diode and this uh, resistor parallel with the LED of optocoupler when the voltage is above the, this value this will open and and this uh, chip is shut down to due to cycle and when the voltage is uh, dropping the chip works again and the voltage is higher and this will continue periodically and the voltage is regulated like this but this is not very accurate they can use 431 TL voltage reference it is more good this when the voltage is higher in the output the zener is opening and uh, it will reduce again and it, the chip is working it increases to the cycle and voltage increases and it will go like this and also this one must be like this the winding is not same way the primary winding is opposite way to the other windings first is primary winding is when switched to primary winding this core is and the energy is stored in this core and the, when this is closed the MOSFET is closed energy is transferring to the, the other windings I mean this in here polarity is changed plus minus to minus plus so So I can show the data sheet of the this chip. Yes, this is the internal of this chip. Yes, the seven MOSFET or some transistor and the VCC oscillator feedback circuit there's error amplifier and the ground pin it's rated 800 volt it's good um, it's 68 61 kilohertz up to it's also good I think this is Chinese chip they produce it yes this is yes there is some parameters so they give a circuit yes yes friends if there is any question you can ask me if there is any mistake here you can also say in the comments thank you for watching and listening see you in next video